Porsche Taycan has been around for a few years now, but Porsche would be a fool if it changed much on its frankly gorgeous first pure EV. Now that the Taycan's mid-cycle refresh is underway, we're happy to see the sleek exterior design stays largely the same. But the big changes? They're happening under the metal. Power has been raised across the board, with the base Taycan now making 402 horsepower and 302 pound-feet of torque with launch control. On the highest end, a Taycan Turbo S with the Performance Battery Plus option and push-to-pass launch control nets you up to 938 horsepower and 818 pound-feet of torque, increased from the previous 750 horsepower and 774 torque. Adaptive air suspension is now standard and the brakes have been updated to recapture even more decelerative energy, but Porsche still isn't giving us one pedal driving mode, which is something most other EVs offer. The batteries are improved too. The new base battery has the usable capacity of the old big battery and the new big battery has even more yet. A better thermal management system means a smoother and faster charging process. And best of all, the batteries do all this and weigh about 20 pounds less than before. Porsche also reworked the Taycan's onboard electrical system, optimizing and consolidating everything. There are minor aero tweaks to the wheels and lower rolling resistance tires. All those benefits stack, by the way. So overall, they mean an estimated 30% improvement in range. Very cool stuff. We got a brief ride in the new Turbo S prototype and found the ride quality was impressively smooth thanks to the new but optional hydraulic active suspension called Porsche Active Ride. Launch control was mind-blowing, as always. The car charged quickly, as promised. Prices for the 2025 Taycan remain high and range from $101,395 to $213,695. They're available for you to order now and you can expect deliveries to start over the summer.